Hi, I'm TJ. I'm volunteering for ACH as part of the Chamber of Commerce's Volunteer Arlington Day. Welcome to Tuesday Tales. I'm going to tell you the story of Mommy's Little Monster. See, there's the little monster. This is written by Dawn McNiff and pictured by Kate Willis Quamley. Trolls love their mommies. Tiny Troll loved his mommy a lot. More than puddles, more than earwigs. But Tiny Troll's mommy was going to a party tonight. Coming with you? said Tiny Troll. Oh no, my little monster, said his mommy. This party's only for grown-ups. Mrs. Hag is going to babysit you. I'm not a babe, he whined. But his mommy wouldn't listen. See, he's not happy. Tiny Troll sat on his mommy's lap while she painted her claws and curled her bristles. He held onto her leg while she waxed her tail and rubbed slime into her scales. See, that's what the trolls do. Then she dabbed behind her ears with her blue bottle perfume and put on her high-heeled clodhoppers and her pond weed cloak. She was ready. See, she's all ready to go out. Tiny Troll took one look at his mommy and loved her so much, he nearly pooped. She was the prettiest mommy ever. She was Princess Mommy Troll. He put his arms in the air. His mommy picked him up. She smelled stinky sweet and strange, not like his mommy at all. Miss Hag arrived. Tiny Troll clung on tight but Mommy was firm. She put him back down on the ground. Come now, my little monster, she said. Give Mommy a kiss goodbye. See, there he is. But Tiny Troll shook his head. He turned away and pouted. So his Mommy blew him a kiss and slipped out the cave door. Bye-bye. He's not happy. He's pouting. Tiny Troll roared. He threw himself at the door. Mommy! See? Mommy! Come on, lovey, said Miss Hag. How about some warm mud milk and a bedtime story? Tiny Troll liked mud milk. But no, he loved his mommy more. No! he yelled. He flung his toy slug against the wall. Mommy! Okay, Miss Hag said knowingly. I'll be in the swamp prom if you want me. See? Swamp prom. Swamp room, I guess. Okay. Tiny Troll lay his face scrunched in an itchy mat. His tears made a big wet patch. Meaning mommy, he muttered. He drummed the door hard with his tiny tail. Whack, whack, whack. He looks very, very sad. Then he smelled a creamy, muddy smell coming from the swamp room. Tiny Troll sighed. He did like mud milk. He stood up and wiped his eyes. He peeped around the door. Does mid mud milk make crying go away, he asked. I think it does, said Mrs. Hag. So Tiny Troll had a mug full of mud milk, and Mrs. Hag read him his favorite story about a little troll scaring a big wolf away. Then Miss Hag let him have another mug full. Tiny Troll snuggled up to her. His mommy never let him have more. See, she's reading to him right there. And here's the mug milk over here. 
Tiny Troll's eyelids suddenly seemed very heavy. He felt Miss, Mrs. Hag left, lift him up and carry him to his box. She gently tucked him in. When Tiny Troll woke up, it was still nighttime, and his mommy was leaning over his bed to kiss him goodnight. She was still wearing her party dress, but she had taken off her makeup, and her bristles smelled of mold again. So there he is, and there's his mommy. Give him a little kiss goodnight. I'm back home, she said softly, and I brought you a treat from the party. It's a bag of rotten worms, his favorite. Tiny Troll hugged his lovely mommy and his yummy worms and smiled a sleepy smile. Maybe grown-up parties weren't so bad after all. Who will always be my baby, she whispered. Who's mommy's little monster? Tiny Troll said, me. And as his mommy stroked his head, he drifted back to sleep. See, there he is in his mommy's arms. Here's the rotten worms. That's his favorite. And that's the end. Thanks for joining us for Tuesday's Tales. You can look for another story next week or subscribe to AHC's channel by hitting the, the red button below. Thanks again.